Ben Stratton, tell me, um, tell me a little bit about today's training. Uh, training. Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Exercise. Uh, we have a training exercise today uh, with the Bakersfield Police Department and the Bakersfield Fire Department. We are hosted uh, by one of the Bakersfield Police Department chaplains, who's the pastor at Fam Family Community Fellowship Church here in Bakersfield, and uh, we hosted this site uh, as a training exercise for our, the Special Weapons and Tactics Team, our negotiators, the bomb squad, our tactical dispatchers, our, um, and interfacing with the uh, Bakersfield Fire Department, uh, simulating a hostage scenario um, with the world that we live in with an increase in active shooter events and things like that. It was just something that we wanted to do to test the operational readiness and capabilities of our team and how everything interacts together. Ultimately just trying to get as much training as we can to prepare ourselves for uh, God forbid a scenario like this would occur. We want to make sure that we're in a, uh, a good position to be able to uh, provide safety and protect uh, the citizens of, of Bakersfield. This is the best way for us to be able to, to do it. So um, it pulled a lot of different resources together, uh, but ultimately in working through uh, the scenario, we were able to uh, get multiple reps and then kind of change the looks of the scenario and just maximize the training value for the team. Threw a little bit of curveballs at them and, and uh, overall we were happy with how they performed. We have some things that, uh, that we'd like to see some improvement on, but all in all, it was a good, good training day. Anytime you do, you know, any type of SWAT, uh, uh, situation like this where you're going into a building and you know there's a suspect in there it's, it's very complicated so is that why it's so good to keep everybody's uh, muscles flexed and and their 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 minds on on the on the target absolutely just like any kind of sporting event you know it's just getting reps and being able to practice and, and practice and it's a perishable skill just like anything else and and there's a lot of uh, moving parts you know we want to stress de-escalation we want to try to end these situations peacefully when we can so we utilize our negotiators for that you know we, we utilize uh, some of our technology in order to try to uh, preserve human life whenever we can as well so uh, some of those things take some time and some practice to really be able to to interface and to be able to make those things happen so that when uh, the real thing happens that it's not the first time we've ever done it. It's not the first time we've ever worked with the dog. It's not the first time we've ever used, utilized our, our phone or technological capabilities. So it's just, a, like I said, an attempt to get some reps and, and increase our, our, our proficiency. Yeah, uh, you, you, you led me to my next question just to tell me some about a little, you know, what you can tell me about some of the sure. really, really state-of-the-art new technology you guys were kind of practicing with today. Uh, just, you know, and some of it isn't necessarily state-of-the-art, it's just getting to the point of, of modern technology and being able to have wireless networks and communication capabilities and just the, uh, the ability for all of our equipment to, to interface. I think oftentimes with any organization you have technology that works in certain areas and then when you get it to interface uh, with each other it might not always interface well. So uh, we had representatives from the City of Bakersfield Technology Services uh, to, here as well to be able to give us some advice on how to leverage our equipment and make sure our technology is working together uh, uh, well. Again, with the end goal of being able to serve the citizens of Bakersfield better. You know, I've been to a lot of SWAT situations in my career, and, you know, obviously the robot, you know, that's old hat. We've all seen the robot. You know, the newer thing to me is like the little tiny RC one that can go and do a tier. Right. Uh, honestly, maybe it's not new to you, but it's new to me. I never thought of using a drone on an interior. Uh, SWAT situation like this. So talk about how those drones really help, help you guys out. Yeah, that was something that we wanted to, to be able to utilize uh, the drone to be able to an interior scout and an exterior scout just to be able to see what's going on, to not have to have a human uh, expose themselves to any type of, a, of a, a threat to be able to do that. We'd like to be able to just ultimately get some information, relay it back and and uh, get eyes inside of a property. So it was just uh, it was a test to see whether it would work and, and whether we have the te technological capabilities to make it uh, to make it work. My last question is super obvious. You already mentioned it. You know, working with the fire department. I mean, obviously in the real world, on a real situation, they're going to be there. Yes. You know? to assist you guys, uh, so why is it important that they're involved in your guys' training? Sure, well we want to establish those relationships and like to let the citizens know that we work very well with uh, all allied agencies within Kern County, but it's just as important for them to get some reps on the things that they're doing as well, to be able to provide medical aid to serve to citizens and to serve them in case uh, uh, the worst that, that would happen. And so we need to be able to see, again, they function very well um, on their own, we function on our own, but oftentimes we don't cross over. And what, when it crosses over and it physically needs 
needs to happen and people actually have to make the movements and be able to do it, we don't want it the first time to, to be uh, you know, the, uh, the time where that it actually happened. We want to have trained together. We want to know what our procedures are. We want to know that we have the right equipment. And we want to be able to, to work together and be able to do it proficiently. You know, in, in the last couple of weeks, we've had Gilroy, we've had Dayton, Ohio. We've had uh, all these things that have occurred. And, uh, and like I said, I, I want um, our first responders here to be prepared and to know that if it were to happen here, that uh, we're going to be able to perform and perform admirably to be able to serve our citizens.